Malume drinks the last of his chipuku beer as though it were bone marrow, hitting the curtain violently against the palm of his hand and licking the scope noisily. My name is Tabu Tijana. I was born in a very small town, a village town in the Eastern Cape called Pedi or in Russia in Isikos. Um, Pedi is just in between King Williamstown and Grahamstown, um, so that's where I come from. In 2003, I went to PE to study journalism after matric. And in PE, I stayed about four to five years uh, and then dropped out. I think dropping out was just a natural consequence of the the fact that I went from having spent 17 years of my life in a village even though I had left once in a while to you know go spend some time elsewhere for that 17 years all I knew was the, the village you know so I think the cultural shock in a city just trying to fit in trying to to define myself in this new environment was just too much, you know. Um, even today, I can't see a reason academically. I mean, I was maybe failing one or two things, but that's just that was just, you know, not having interest in my studies. Okay, I was uh, 15 years old when my father was murdered in King Williamstown. My father was a taxi driver. Um, what happened was sometime in July of 2003, I was spending a holiday um, with, with an aunt in Petty, the town itself. So my father goes to this uh, other town, King Town, on, on something to do with work. Um, and two days later, I am taken back home to the village where I lived and I hear that my father has been murdered. The book is about that, trying to find out what happened exactly in those few days that we, in, the, in that last um, spell that we spent together. As I say, I grew up for a very long time in a village. I lived in a village and in all my writing, that's what I deal with, that's what I know. So, even the poems I entered for the Sopaji EU Award were very much influenced by my um, rural background. The poem that you know reached the, the finals, the, the poem that made me a finalist, is a poem that's very much inspired by Omalume Ekaya, you know, Wutibasela um, drinking their chibuku beer. I remember one time I was in PE when I saw this 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 image when I saw this uh, man drinking his chiboku beer, and I was just so touched by that moment. Uguti, he was so comfortable, he was so in it, so in in the in the act of doing this thing, and I wanted to capture that moment. 